Hello, Virgos. A lot of court cards came through. Lots of intuitive messages, too. Let me read through the cards, in case you can't see them clearly. From the top left, we have the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Second row, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. And then on the bottom, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Wands. Okay, so I feel your energy coming through as this King of Wands. That might sound strange with the Knight of Pentacles being there since you're an Earth sign. But what I'm getting is... But the Knight of Pentacles is more about an action here or how to take an action. And the message that's coming through is to pace yourself regarding something. Um, for some of you, let me talk about the Ten of Swords first. This is the most challenging card I see here. I feel like there was a disruption of something romantic. Um... And although the Ten of Swords can be this feeling of defeat and an ending, I feel like it, it felt like that on in the emotional body and the mental body even, but that it's that it was more related to something, some kind of life circumstance with the Five of Pentacles. So what this looks like to me is there was something either planned or even happening romantically at some point recently. This would have already happened. And then there was... There was a sudden turn of events. I almost feel like, I'm feeling from the Ten of Swords energy almost some tower energy, which might sound strange because Ten of Swords tends to be more, less about an action. It has, it carries more inertia, but, and the, the tower has more of that destructive action energy. But it's just, I'm getting it that way because it feels like it was perceived as a Ten of Swords, like I said, but it what happened was more of a tower type of thing. Something disruptive came in. It's possible it was another person, um, for some of you, with this Queen of Cups. This could be a third person. I'm seeing the people in the reading as the three court cards. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Wands. But for some of you, I also just feel the Queen of Cups as another message not a person so the first thing I'll say is that the disruption could have been because of someone else and that feels like it could have been like a another offer of love out of out of nowhere almost with the ace of cups uh, being in this column with the two of cups but we still have that five of pentacles and I feel like for most of you the disruption was at the work level or living situation so again maybe something was underway and it got disrupted because of a change in work like you had to move or they had to move or something and that took precedence and it felt again like this ten of swords you questioned whether or not you questioned it was an ending it felt like one and that could have been that it felt like that to the other party too it might not have been both of you it feels like a hiatus kind of, in action um, with whatever was going on. It's also possible that it was a work and life situation and a person. Two things could have happened at once. So moving on to the two court cards, though, I feel that the, the really key players here are the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. And we have the Two of Cups also. So because the, the King and Queen are the same suit, and we have the Two of Cups in the reading, I do feel like this is a soulmate situation for some of you. Um, it, it feels like something that you thought might have ended didn't. Um, it's possible that it won't play out the way that you wanted to, and it's possible that it won't continue, but there's potential for it to continue because I do feel a strong soulmate energy. It's interesting to see the Nine of Pentacles between the two of you, what I'm getting is that there really is a work situation involved here. It feels very much, it, it's a general reading, so it could be a financial thing um, or just a living situation. But I'm getting for a lot of you this disruption between the two of you because of a work situation. And 
I see the nine of pentacles as being the goal and it feels like a progression from the five of pentacles situation. So where the five of pentacles feels like you were maybe distraught about, I'll just call it a work situation. So you were maybe distraught about a work situation because something struck, something changed and you were not feeling grounded at all. And where your aim should be is to transform that into this nine of pentacles energy where you get to a place again where you're feeling grounded and successful and independent and, and just in control again of whatever that situation is. It's coming. I really feel like it's coming. The The knight of pentacles is in the center of that and of that transition. And I feel like it, it's telling you, it's also at the center of the reading. It's really telling you to embrace your earth energy, your pragmatism, and take things slow, take things day by day and step by step to get through whatever this work or life situation is. And you can see this person, it's a knight who's not even moving. Knights tend to be about movement anyway and action, but this is the slowest one. And that's how you're meant to or being encouraged to act is with uh, not too much speed and with pragmatism and calm the sense of calm and you have that capricorns it's it's in your element so that will help you to transform that five into this nine energy and then that also feels like it's the key to getting back on the same page with this other person so again there could be multiple scenarios you could now be in different places there could be challenges there's no guarantees but with the two of cups there i really feel like there's more that's meant to happen on the emotional level at the very least and for some of you you really could be meant to be with this person and i don't say that lightly um, i don't even say it every time a two of cups comes in i just feel it powerfully in this reading it's interesting too how your work situation is key to this relationship it's not the only thing uh, your spiritual connection is obviously the most important but it's and you have that being these fire elements too. It's highlighting that, especially since this is not your element, the king of wands. It could be this other person's. Um, she or he could be a fire sign, this queen of wands person. But so you have that spiritual connection too, but it's interesting how that work situation is key to this relationship. The two of you will, if it works out and if it, if it ends up being a relationship, I, I, I feel like the message is that the two of you will always be fine as long as you both have a sense of direction and independence in your own work life. Like whoever I'm speaking to, this couple would not work well as, you know, say one of them becoming a stay at home dad or mom or something like that. They both need to be really active, creative, independent, and following their own path career wise um, and just overall spiritual mission wise because you you need that independence to function to be to be happy on your own and also to be happy together to to function together and that could also mean that there's a possible partnership which is more than romantic because you both have that drive and that sense of mission and career so you could actually end up putting this together you're putting your heads together and collaborating on something too. That's kind of a side message here. The Ace of Cups um, in general feels like there will be a sense of renewal coming. I feel like there's a lot of reassurance about that in the reading. And the Queen of Cups, if there is not a third party involved, feels to me like one or the other of you is highly sensitive, is an empath is strongly psychic, intuitive, something along those lines. Possibly just really emotionally sensitive, though to me that almost always means that there's something spiritual going on too. Um, so I'm going to say that this person who's a potential partner for you is an empath. And it's coming up in that column with the Ten of Swords. So I feel like... I'm feeling a link between the two queens and I, I sense that if there's a female, if you if you're 
partner is a female, the other person, um, especially if she's female, that there's a strong sensitivity, that that feeling of something having ended feels like it came more from her, like it happened more on her end. And she may need some reassurance about that. It's possible that it's male too, a highly sensitive, intuitive male. Just feels very female with the two queens, but it is possible that it's male. Um, this this person may need some reassurance, not need it, but it may be helpful to the situation. So if you're watching this and you feel like things were left unanswered in any way with, with the other person and that there's a chance it may have been perceived as an ending or a defeat, again, pace yourself because that message is at the center, but I would maybe come forward with some reassurance um, and the Ace of Cups is speaking to that too, kind of a renewal, some sort of message that you have feelings, that there are feelings still there if you feel like the time is right. Because again, this person is powerful. She doesn't necessarily need it, but I feel like it could really help ease the situation. A little bit of reassurance can go a long way and she's very sensitive. I know I keep saying she, I, I feel like it's mostly, mostly that. It's possible that it's you also who is the more sensitive one or intuitive one. And in that case, there try to find a way to provide yourself with that reassurance because I do feel like there's some strong potential here and the reading itself may, may bring you that. So I will leave it at that. Take care. Thank you.